American Slang, Lesson 8. Cool Car. Part 1. Note, this is a lesson in two parts. Almost every man I know loves technology. So a car that's got the most modern technology is like a guy's dream on wheels. In this lesson, you're going to hear two men talk about a really cool car. But I think you'll find that the expressions can be used to talk about other forms of technology, from a cell phone to a TV. So if you're ready, let's get started. Listening for details. You will not see the text. You must listen carefully and try to understand what special features the car has. So, how do you like driving your new car? Like it? I love it. I've been saving up a long time for a car like this. My last car was pretty much a clunker. I wanted this one to be fully loaded. Do you want to see the inside? Yeah. Well, it's definitely high-tech. You got your CD player, navigation system, and hey, what's this? A DVD player? Yep. Dude, that's sweet. Uh-huh. Well, at least it's nice for the passengers in the back. But is all this user-friendly? Don't you get confused with all the buttons? Nope. Check this out. Fan on. Fan on. Whoa. Voice activation? Mm-hmm. There are voice commands for everything. The stereo, the AC, you name it. Oh, and get a load of this. Call home. Calling home. You got a hands-free phone? Yeah, it's voice activated, and I can pick up and hang up with the touch of a button here on the steering wheel. That's really cutting edge. How's it handle? Like a dream. Would you like to take it for a spin? You bet I would. You trust me behind the wheel? Yeah, I'm cool with that. We'll just go around the block. Okay, let's go. Recalling details. Look at the list of features below. Which ones were mentioned in the conversation? The features mentioned were a CD player, a navigation system, a DVD player, voice commands, and a hands-free phone. Understanding new vocabulary. We're going to listen to the conversation again, but we'll break it into five parts. This way we can study new words and expressions just a few at a time. Now listen again to the first part of the conversation try to understand the meaning of these words and expressions. Pretty much, a clunker, and fully loaded. Listen. So, how do you like driving your new car? Like it. I love it. I've been saving up a long time for a car like this. My last car was pretty much a clunker. I wanted this one to be fully loaded. Do you want to see the inside? Yeah. How does Rob's last car compare with this new one? Now even if you did not understand the exact meanings of the new vocabulary words and expressions, you should be able to answer this question. Your hint comes in this statement. My last car was pretty much a clunker. I wanted this one to be fully loaded. Hopefully you understood that Rob's last car wasn't very good, so this one is better. It does more, it has more. Pretty much means nearly or mostly. A clunker is a car that's in bad condition. We can talk about clunkers being other machines, but mostly when we talk about clunkers, we're talking about cars. So a car that's pretty much a clunker is almost completely in bad condition. And fully loaded means having all the options all the special features available. Listen now to the second part of the conversation. Try to understand the meaning of these words and expressions. High-tech? That's sweet. 
and user-friendly. Listen. Well, it's definitely high-tech. You got your CD player, navigation system, and hey, what's this? A DVD player? Yep. Dude, that's sweet. Uh-huh. Well, at least it's nice for the passengers in the back. But is all this user-friendly? Don't you get confused with all the buttons? Nope. What is Andy's concern about all the technology in the car? Again, you may not have understood the exact meanings of the new vocabulary, but you should have grasped the basic meaning, enough to answer this question. Your hint is in this statement. Andy says, well, it's definitely high-tech. He comments, that's sweet, but is all this user-friendly? Hopefully you understood that Andy is generally impressed with everything, but he asks about its use. Is it easy, is it difficult to use this technology? High-tech means having very complex technology. That's sweet, or simply sweet means very good. It's the same as cool. It's a very informal expression. I personally don't use it that often. Maybe it's used among much younger people. Could also be more of a guy expression, perhaps. And user-friendly means easy to use. Listen to the third part of the conversation. Try to understand the meaning of these words and expressions. Check this out, you name it, and get a load of this. Listen. Check this out. Fan on. Fan on. Whoa. Voice activation? Mm-hmm. There are voice commands for everything. The stereo, the AC, you name it. Oh, and get a load of this. Call home. Calling home. What is so special about the way Rob can control the technology in his new car? Did you understand that? Your hint is in this statement. Rob says, check this out. There are voice commands for everything. The stereo, the AC, you name it. Oh, and get a load of this. Call home. Rob is calling attention to the use of voice commands. He's using his voice to control the technology in his new car. Check this out means take a look at something and appreciate it. It's informal. You name it is at the end of a short list to suggest that the list is actually longer. You tell me an item and that item is on my list. It refers to almost everything and anything. Get a load of this is similar to check this out. You're asking someone to take a look at someone or something, probably because it's interesting, but possibly because it's also surprising or silly. Now listen to the fourth part of the conversation. Try to understand the meaning of these words and expressions. Hands free voice activated, and cutting edge. Listen. You got a hands-free phone? Yeah, it's voice activated, and I can pick up and hang up with the touch of a button here on the steering wheel. That's really cutting edge. How is the car phone operated, and what does Andy think of it? Did you understand? Your hint is in this exchange. Andy asks, you got a hands-free phone? Rob answers, yeah, it's voice activated. The response, that's really cutting edge. Hopefully you understood the general meaning, which is Andy is impressed with this phone you don't have to hold. Hands-free means able to be operated without the use of your hands. Voice activated means operated by voice command. The phone that Rob and Andy are talking about is both. Rob can carry on a conversation without actually having to hold a phone, and he can dial by giving a voice command. But as Rob explained, you have to pick up and end phone calls with a push of a button. Cutting edge, our last expression in this part, means exciting because it's the newest or latest technology, method, way of thinking, 
etc. Now listen to the fifth and final part of the conversation. Try to understand the meaning of these words and expressions. There are five of them. Like a dream, take it for a spin, you bet, behind the wheel, and be cool with that. Listen. How's it handle? Like a dream. Would you like to take it for a spin? You bet I would. You trust me behind the wheel? Yeah, I'm cool with that. We'll just go around the block. Okay, let's go. What does Rob offer and why is Andy interested? Did you understand? The hint is in this exchange. Andy asks, how does it handle? Rob replies, like a dream. Would you like to take it for a spin? Andy says, you bet I would. You trust me behind the wheel? And Rob replies, yeah, I'm cool with that. If you got the general meaning, you understand that Andy is curious about how it feels to drive the car. So Rob offers the chance to try it out. Like a dream means very well, almost perfect, no problems. Take it for a spin means to take a short drive, just for fun. You bet means of course or certainly. You can use it all by itself as in you bet or in a larger sentence, you bet I would, you bet I do. Behind the wheel means in the driver's seat, in control of the car. And be cool with that means you have no objections to that, no complaints, nothing against it. This is the end of part one. Before you go on to part two, I'd like to invite you to English Cafe. You'll find additional practice there to review what you've learned in the lesson so far. And then I'll see you back here for part two.